Performance TV, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. For decades, if you wanted to trick out your motorcycle with some really cool custom graphics, Tapeworks was the company you called. Well, I'm here today with Rob Massacar from Tapeworks, who came out with a brand new product. Why don't you tell me about it, Rob? Hey, Robert. Yeah, we're uh, here to show you the Stripe It All wheel striping system. It's a, a system of a little tool and set of rim stripes that lets anyone install these uh, accent stripes on a car or a motorcycle or a bicycle wheel. Do it in about an hour. And uh, here's the magic tool right here. We got a patent on it within this past year. And the tool lets you not only adjust for three different widths of stripes, so you can do eighth inch, quarter inch, or three eighths, but it's also got an adjustable bumper system. And if I can show you, so you just, here's an example where we installed a bunch of different stripes and it shows how parallel and evenly spaced everything is. But the adjustable bumper lets you dial in where you want to install the stripe, lock it down with the, uh, the locking thumb screw. And that's where the stripe would install, right where you see this black spool. And the stripes all come in sets. It's enough to do a complete vehicle. So you also uh, get additional material just in case you need a little practice at the beginning, and we all do. But uh, when you take the stripes out of the package, you're going to get some scissors, and you're going to cut each, separate each stripe. And here's an example of one that's separated. And I'm not going to do the full demo install here, but basically there's also a little tool here we call the Easy Feeder. It lets you pull the tape through the initial guide channel, and then once it's fed through there, you bump the tool up against the outer edge of the rim, and then you're going to just simply let the tool do the install. It's the guide to keep everything parallel and in place, and in about 15 seconds, you're done. Wow. Now, I noticed some new cars have a really expensive upgrade to get striped rims. Right, right. And so this is the, uh, the poor man's um, alternative. For about 50 bucks, you get the tool and you get the complete set of stripes. You can choose colors to match particular cars. Um, we've also got a whole range of uh, reflective colors, which are really cool. And so you really have all kinds of options and capabilities with this. So now the reflective tapes, that would, seems to me like it would be a really good safety feature, whether you're using it on a motorcycle or a bicycle. It's something that when earlier we shot it was really bright, really showed up from quite a distance. Yeah, well, if you can kind of envision, you know, you're driving down a dark country road at night and a quarter mile away, you see the stop sign lit up. It's reflective, and this really does exactly the same thing. So if you're looking for that uh, great bit of additional visibility, especially if you're on a bicycle or a motorcycle, it's phenomenal. It's also really cool on a car. All right, well, we have a brand new Camaro here. Let's take a look at actually putting it on this car and see how easy it really is. All right, man, let's do it. All right, Rob, so we've got our car here. We've jacked it up so that we can easily rotate the tires. Yep. We've cleaned the rim. Yep. And you mentioned that that's really important for us to do. It is the crucial step. You want to clean, clean, clean. So you use uh, some adhesive remover. You use some window cleaner. And then you do a final step using isopropyl alcohol. OK, no such thing as too clean. Yep. Let's go ahead and put the stripe on. All right. So I've already taken one of the stripes, cut it apart from the rest of the roll. You expose a little bit of the adhesive side of the tape, contact it to this piece we call the Easy Feeder. That lets you pull the tape up and through the little guide channel. And we've already set up the tool to reference the outside edge of the rim. So I'm going to hold the tool nice and steady while you rotate the wheel steady and not okay. too fast. And. The tool does all the work. You can see it's keeping it nice and parallel to the edge. When you get back to the beginning, we're going to stop. And if you want to just scissors that part off, usually you have to cut off the first inch or two so that it's running true. And then we'll continue installing. Overlap it, that's good. And trim off the rest. Spin that wheel. Wow, that is really easy. And, and I can see the reflection too. So all we have to do is repeat this process on the other three wheels. Yep. Well, that's really super easy. For more information, check out stripeitall.com. Stay with us. There'll be more Performance TV right after this.